This vivid bounty, cascading glimmer, crisp and brutal, gentle bewilder high, covert night working crystalline comply, clear sky, filigree of spangled glamour, this opaque, shallow light, gold and amber, streams glint of twinkle, so this wild is dry, delicate and breakable without why. Through this parlay sparkle, I am swimmer, body affinity with the motion, agent and perpetual and flowing closer, consummation with the fireside, melding a silent snowfall to open, no mystery in the beck and gloaming, and no one, no one follows where I ride. My name is Matthew Plum. I'm a tree surgeon, gardener, grafter, just keep myself busy, work hard surfing, and writing poetry. When I started writing poetry, first time, I was just about 21, I think it was a couple of weeks before my 21st birthday. I got emotional about uh, something, I can't remember what now, and I thought, oh, I just, I don't know, I just picked up some paper and just started writing. Themes I like to explore in my writing are pretty consistent with nature, feelings, your heart, emotions, those are the things that are important, I think. Love, basically, love, flowers, sunshine, that's what I write about, which is, I think, what poetry should be about. Being into poetry and trying to write poetry or being creative and artistic doesn't really have any return, I don't think, for an artist, not immediately. So for me, work is something I can get stuck into, have immediate result from and have some reward so I can go on living, go on thinking, go on being creative. I think if you didn't work, you'd go absolutely mental if you were an artist, and a lot do. The artists that don't work go nuts. Don't they? Because you are nuts already if you're an artist, really. I never intended to live the way I do, although I'm very happy about it. I don't use a lot of water, I'm not wasteful, I don't use any electricity. I think it's a good way to live. My grandfather was a forester and he was more, more of a forester than I am or, or likely I'll ever be. He was formally educated in forestry, went to Oxford University. I got a lot of his tools, some of his hatchets. I got the hatchet, yeah. That was grandfather's hatchet. My formal education was a bit informal. I was in school, in a structure, and I've had a structured education, but I was not very structured myself. But somehow I got to university, I wangled it, I got lucky, and I really enjoyed university. It was much better than school. So I went to university again and I studied a master's in public administration after doing an undergraduate degree in politics. Nothing to do with literature. I'd not read much poetry until oh, I'd been writing a year or two and then, and then I really started reading a lot more poetry. Thomas Hardy, I think, probably really instilled in me what it is to write in the English language and have uh, a flair and a verve with words and really make a celebration with words. Poetry's everywhere, isn't it? You can't have one favourite or loads of favourite poets because it's everywhere. Now is the time to leave a patch fallow out of mind into heart, load the table, gather people, the cuckoo and the part and you protect what gleams from the furrow to the edge of dusk and a wood stock stable. With the nightingale, you fall for the dark. <laughs>